the winner of the outstanding ce award has to uh, give an award to his guru and i think the person who you uh, nominated is uh, mr muktesh pan unfortunately mr muktesh pan couldn't be here today but we have a video of his so can you please play the av Hi Varun, hey, congratulations on this prestigious award. You really well deserve recognition of being the CEO of the year. Uh, I first got a message from Ravi Dhariwal I think about a month or 6 weeks ago, very excited and like him I was filled with happiness when I heard of this. And then later when I got a call from Hari Nair, I really thanked him because not only has this award been given to someone who's a terrific CEO and a great executive, but also someone who's a really thoroughly decent and lovable human being and that's such a rare quality in the corporate world so i understand from hari that you were gracious enough to say that i had a role to play in your journey um and there are a couple of qualities that i wish to highlight to the people that are listening today the first varun i think is that you've been a lifelong student there's this old chinese saying that when the student is ready the teacher will appear and i think you personify it because you're always reaching out to people and seeking help when you don't know the answer or where you're in difficulty i think when times are going well all of us are confident and we stay in touch with people but when things get difficult as they do with everyone's career many of us tend to withdraw or become defensive and you are the opposite you've always reached out to people i can remember extensive discussions on the ways forward and uh, you always find the right way so you've had this remarkable confidence based on a sense of security that you can share things with people and seek help and uh, i think that makes you invulnerable uh, and the second thing varun that i've learned from you personally is that while you take your work very seriously and i've seen you on assignments and you know brook bond and pepsi and your middle eastern adventure and when you were in the philippines and every single time you take your job extremely seriously but you never take yourself seriously uh, you're never more than a minute away from a big laugh or a smile and your ability to break the ice through the use of humor and self deprecation and lightening the mood or side stepping the topic just for a minute is so masterful that i think that really your best days are ahead of you so that brings me to a, a closing comment varun which is um, My prediction is that actually the next 10 years are going to be terrific fit for you. I think with all that you've learned and the way you've grown as a leader, you really will contribute tremendously to industry anywhere in the world over the next decade. So, uh I know corporate life is stressful and you may be tempted occasionally to think of dialing things down, but I would encourage you to stay full on. You have the energy uh and you've got the commitment. You just need to work on your golf game a little bit. But other than that you are invulnerable and I think that you can make a huge contribution. So Varun I would say abhi picture baki hai mere dost. Keep going. You got a, a legion of admirers and fans uh, around the world and we'll be cheering you on. So thank you for including me in this uh, evening celebrations. Congratulations to you and Anu. And I know that it's going to be a great future ahead. So all the very best and thank you very much Varun congratulations Thank you so much